Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of a snooping TCP. So in our last lecture, we discussed about indirect TCP, right? Yes. So whenever I was teaching indirect TCP, I mentioned one major drawback, right? So there is no direct communication between the sender and receiver. There is no direct communication between the sender and receiver. I have repeated it multiple times, if you remember. So the reason why I repeated is the upgraded version resolving that issue is nothing but our snooping TCP, guys. So if you observe the diagram, everything seems to be same, right? So we are having a mobile host, an access point or a foreign agent with a sender. So sender sends the data with a wired connection, access point sends with the wireless. But there is a small update here. So there is a direct connection between the sender and the mobile host. Okay. So this access point is just, is just a mediator, you can say. Okay. Yes. So now let us continue. So at the end, each or okay so indirect tcp with end to end connection is called as snooping tcp so here end to end we are having a connection hence this is called as a snooping tcp got it so here the access point will not send any acknowledgement or will not send any data he is just a listener guys he will just observe things okay so whatever data is transferring he will see whatever data is receiving he will see so he is just a snooper he is like a dog you can say he will be smelling everything he will be sensing everything right yes so end to end connection okay so here a foreign agent instead of a trans termi terminating all packets with the destination mobile host it buffers temporarily so basically instead of sending the data he will just act as a buffer and he will observe everything guys okay stores all the packet in addition to it it also snoops each packet flowing in between the direction so basically he will observe whether the packet is being sent properly he is getting acknowledgement or not everything so buffer is done because if any packet is missing he can directly send it so the only reason why still we are using buffer is because of this reason got it yes so the advantages of this is we are not doing any kind of crazy changes in TCP guys. We are just adding some part for it, right? And we updated that part again with some other parts, right? Yes. So the original TCP end-to-end -end connection is preserved. Okay. So here end-to-end -end connection is also there. Okay. So faster retransmission as we are storing it in the foreign agent using buffers, right? Yes. So the only disadvantage is if the data is encrypted, what will be your situation, guys? So basically, assume that you are the foreign agent and you are a mediator between two people, right? So previously, they are talking in English and you also know English. Now they are talking in Tamil or Urdu or Chinese or Japanese in some other language which you don't even have an idea. So in that situation, what will be your situation? You'll be just like a... Uh, object right so we'll be just observing them you can't do anything you cannot even say that the acknowledgement has sent or not sent anything so encryption is also same for it guys so if the data is encrypted it cannot identify anything it cannot read the data hence this concept will not work if you want to uh, uh, enca encapsulate the encryption so that is the reason why this method is also not used okay so now we concluded this method will also be not used so your question will be okay then what method will be used so that introduced the mobile tcp or mtcp you can say okay yes we'll be discussing about this mobile tcp in detail in our next lecture guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea what are the disadvantages in tcp and what it made into improvements what improvements are made our previous TCP that is nothing but our snooping TCP and what are the disadvantages in snooping, snooping TPC are introducing mobile TCP. So in the next lecture we will be going in detail about mobile TCP. So let us meet in the next lecture guys. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.